Welcome everyone. This is part three of the actual reviewing of more of the Japanese food. Now here's some, I should say, snack. These are kind of odd things. They're chocolate flavored. Little chews. They're kind of hard. I guess those are little chocolate. Nothing special about those. The chocolate is not very good. Okay, let's get into something else. That's supposed to be an animal-shaped little chocolate. Let's open this up. In a fun little package. And, um... Let's see what these are, and we'll just see how that, um... It's a little kind of balls. It's supposed to be chocolate, I guess. Well, they're not, they're fruit flavored. They're hard candies with some fruit flavor inside. Kind of like a Skittle. And here's a mini bottle. I'm assuming this is just filled with sugar. It's amazing how when you get down to it all over the world, uh, it's all the same stuff. It's all the same kind of little treats. Yeah, that's just your typical sugar, sugar straw, whatever they have. It's in a little bottle. Um, certainly that's just sugar. No great flavor there. Here again is kind of a... Um, gummy type thing, apparently. We've seen this uh, from other manufacturers. I wonder what's going on here. It looks almost identical to some of the other ones. And, you know, as again, here we get repetitive. You know, the world's all the same. Let's try this out. Then it's just a gummy. That is a sour gummy. Let's try this. It has little um, ice cream cones on it. Looks like it has strawberries there. kind of cute. It's got little ice cream cones in it. And a little package of, I'm assuming, just more sugary junk. Yeah. Um, you pour it in there. Pour it in there. Um, It does kind of turn into a creamy goo, but it's just not much flavor there. Just sweet junk. Here we go again with some more strawberry flavored um, hard candies. Again, these are kind of like Skittles, it looks like. Uh, so you're... Um... Well... Not quite. These are soft inside. 
They're more like, um, sure what that is in terms of, but they're soft coated, almost like, um, uh, what would you call these, raisins? So, again, nothing overly special there, but, you know, these are good. It doesn't really, as you said, it's kind of a powdery stuff inside and uh, tastes a little bit like um, strawberries. get into this. It's kind of like a cookie. Sweet creamy cheese sandwich between two crackers. It's a cracker with some cheese um, filling in it. Yeah. This is one of your typical spicy um crackers you get in a lot of the Asian places. Um, has that smooth texture on it. What they've done is take some of those kind of spicy chili crackers and put a little cheese, which you can't, you can't really taste the cheese filling at all, but that's what's in there. Not bad again. I mean, your typical cracker. Okay. I have, um, This little guy, and again, your typical comical Japanese stuff. Figures on here. Let's see if I can find this um, on here to get kind of an idea of what this strange stuff is. And there it is, lollipop with cider powder. up. So basically you get a, um, a lollipop and you get an extra powder that you dip it in. So you lip, lick it and dip it in the sugar. Not sure what flavor that is. Let's try it. Yeah, it's your typical uh, dip. It's just a, um, a lollipop that you dip into uh, what is powdered sugar there. Like it isn't sweet enough. Okay, let's check this out. It's got a um, wild looking um, goofy face on it. Again, so typically Chinese. I should say Japanese. Um, I'm going to find exactly where this one is. Let's open her up. Let's see the back of this. Feels like some sort of another lollipop. Um, let's see. There's no powder with it, but this has kind of a little face on it. Again, cute. It's what you call great flavor. It's good and sweet. I mean, it tastes like a lollipop. There's nothing special about it. 
Nothing overly bad about it. Nothing overly good about it. Okay. Okay, this is a little kind of gummy bear hand. See if we can... Uh, Open this up and see what we can find in here. I said it looks like just a gummy bear. And again, you know, it's that gummy stuff. You got powdered sugar, gummy crackers, all the same stuff, you know. Uh, I guess you could get weird stuff, but who would want that? Basically, this is a hand and it's got that gummy texture. Yeah, this is one of those Coca-Cola flavored ones. Again, that ain't too unique. We've got this. You can find this. Looks like this may be some, that's a fish on there. So it looks like it may be some sort of um, fish taste. Find it on here again. There it is. Dried fish. Yeah, I can smell that fish. Well, like dried fish, it tastes like dried fish. Um, it's not too strong, but it's got a very fishy flavor to it. Again, here's some more of these very silly packages. I certainly like their anime and their art and everything else. I mean, uh, these are quite uh, out there. We got here... Oh, there they are. Gyro gum, four flavors of uh, chewing gum. And uh, let's open this up. And again, you can see that um, kind of unique way of um, putting gums. I guess that you'd call that their stick of gum. Let's try a bit of it. You know, the textures of gum from the Japanese are very soft. I mean, you can... Very soft. In your mouth, they turn into soft very, very quickly. Yeah, I mean... Again, it's good chewing gum. It's a Japanese style, which, as I said, Japanese style of gum is very soft. Very flavorful. It gets down to gum consistency quickly. Um, here's another. I guess this is another piece of gum. Or let me see if I can find that uh, exact one there. This is called cider candy. What does that mean? Apple cider? Cider? It's got a nice flavor. It's hard to say what that is. Is that really apple? Um, with all these things.
Here's a box of mints. Plum favored. It says mints on here, but it says plum, plum flavored. And, and you pull it, you take the top off, you pull it up. That's kind of cute. It's got a little uh, hole here where you can put that in your hand so when you want it. And it does taste, well, oh, very sweet. And it has a little bit of a plum flavor to it. And these are kind of like um, soft Pez. Um, they're just hard, sweet candy. Again, nothing unusual, weird, good, bad. It's just sweet candy. Nothing special about any of this. Um, let's see if we can find out what these things are. Okay, can't really find that out of my look. Again, these look like just Again, they're just little hard candies. Again, the, there's not much flavor there. It's mostly just sugar flavor. Apparently this last <coughs> group I've had here <coughs> has been pretty much sugar flavored and not much to it. I prefer chocolates and crackery type of stuff and more snacky type foods. Here's some more hard type candy. Um, seems to be a mixture of um, these Pez type things with that other harder candy. Which is um, a pop rock type thing. So. Very strong, fruity, um, pop rock type flavor there. So you're getting that kind of um, blast in the mouth. Nothing overly. Tasteful again. I guess this is um, cherry flavored. It looks like you get a little stick with it, and I'm not sure if you pry that out or <coughs> what it is. There it is. Cherry-flavored candy made with rice cake. Show the back of that. There's much on the back. Then this little container, which you open up, and you get this little toothpick. So it's just a very soft candy. It's almost uh, like gum. <laughs> I 
And I guess you can use this toothpick to get it out. That's how soft it is. It doesn't taste much of anything. Again, it's just sweet. A little cotton candy is to a certain extent. It's supposed to be cherry. Yeah, not much of a cherry flavor there at all. It's a, there's that consistency of kind of a soft gum. So that's about it. That's the entire sushi candy box. Uh, concluding with this third actual video. Showing you what's out there. And, of course, all these are fun. I mean, you can see that the Japanese have some really great packaging. Um, in terms of anything different or new, I think we covered most of those, if there was any. Basically, it's like everything else in life. When it really comes down to it, everything is very similar. Um, candy is candy. There are some differences. If you want to eat seafood candy, well, they have those flavors, too. But well, I wouldn't consider those candy. They have your usual lollipops gums and everything else all the usual stuff you're going to get everywhere it's all uh 90 sugar some flavors are a little better than others but uh, i haven't been overly impressed by anything coming from uh japan in terms of something different and unusual but you got chocolate you got lollipops you got gummy bears you know the kind of stuff that you get everywhere and if you go into a big american candy store you know they have these that specialize in that you can get any flavor of anything you want. So, um, well, they had some unique things like the ice cream cones here. Uh, the bottom line is you're just, well, you're just pouring in sugar in this and then eating it uh, just powdered sugar. And, of course, you can get powdered sugar very cheaply in the United States and little straws and other things. Um, their gum is unusual. It's softer and tends to be a little more flavorful, but... Uh, and seems to hold its flavor a little longer, but it's still gum is gum. I don't see any difference. Here's your little, um, if you're one of those seafood people, here's a dried fish. I don't know if they've sweetened it or not. I don't know. Did I show the back of this puppy? I don't think so. Um, so we'll keep you tuned on unique stuff. We're still looking, uh, we'll be bringing to you different types of, excuse me, gummy bears, all sorts of things that uh, are available around the world in the future. I think we've had enough of the sweet box, particularly sweets from Asia. Uh, unless there's something new, fun, and exciting, uh, we'll have to move on to another country and so on. But hopefully this has been fun and interesting. You know, expand your realities, people, if you do not seek out other things and try new things. Well, how possibly are you going to seek out and find higher consciousness? You won't. It's all part of the process. This is fun. Um... Uh, as I recommend to everybody, you know, experience these things. Know what it is so you can talk about it. doesn't mean you have to eat this stuff. I don't eat a lot of sugar. Uh, I do like my sugar, but I try and stay away from it, uh, just like I don't eat much meat. And we'll be showing you vegetarian stuff that's available in Europe uh, as well. So people should eat good diets. You should know what's out there. And if you're comparing something, well, you need to talk intelligently about things. The worst thing you can do is be ignorant and then say, well, my stuff is good. Well, you've never tried anything else. And if you do that, that means you've never tried any different thinking in your life. And that means you got a head full of monkey-headed freak ideas controlled by others and you'll get nowhere. So hopefully this has been fun and more to come.